Hey, what's up? I got in the habit of 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 talking to myself in um in bed late at night here. So it dawned on me, right, right. I thought the first day of spring of this year was tomorrow, but in actuality, it's the twentieth, which is right now. So, um, my beloved late friend Gary Goldsteiner who taught me many a thing, changed my life. Um, one of his books, Charting the, T Charting the Times of Your Life, Gary Goldsnyder, it's, a, it's essentially um, a kind of, uh, sort of a sampler addendum to his Secret Language uh, trilogy. But I wanted to read The Cusp of Rebirth, which I guess, is, uh, the cusp of rebirth starts on March 19th. But, you know, it's sort of the same difference um, as far as spring goes. March 19th through the 24th. Okay, so I'm just going to read this brief passage here. Um, okay, ready? Okay. The cusp of rebirth corresponds with the advent of of the spring equinox in the northern hemisphere. Thus, this six day period is the quintessential startup point in the whole year. The best time to launch new projects. Let's see, the best time to launch new projects. The cusp of rebirth favors all new beginnings, especially those that are motivated by pure impulses unfettered with calculation and preconceived notions. Once underway, projects begin at this time, projects begun at this time move on by themselves with unstoppable energy. The faculty of intuition is stronger in the spring than at any other time of the year. This means that we should not get bogged down in any of the other faculties, emotion, sensation, or thought. Now is not the time to worry or carefully plan things out or to wallow in sensuous or cloying feelings. The spark of impulsiveness must be kept alive for it will not be available at any other time in the year in such an untrammeled form. Joining intuition and impulse together can result in an irresistible force, allowing us to move mountains. Traditionally, a time in which we begin our spring cleaning and make household repairs. The warm weather also ushers spring fever into our lives. Spring promotes all sorts of romantic advances, sexual or otherwise. As the sap begins to run in trees, so does our blood begin to run warm again after a long freeze. As we search for new companions or objects of desire, fantasy and love begin to develop in the strangest ways. Chance meetings abound at this time, throwing the most unexpected combinations of potential partners together in the oddest of circumstances. Awkwardness, awkward, awkward, well, I'm saying this rather awkwardly. Awkwardness is common during this period. For everything is so new that there are few precedents or habitual modes of behavior to rely on. A springtime can be a catalyst in the onset of violent events. The flood of human emotions that is released at this time can cause ordinary happenings to turn violent too. Special care must be taken to avoid being alone with someone who has been showing signs of instability. Such meetings are better negotiated in a public space, where social control can be operative. Moreover, our own passions must be expressed, but also mastered. In this way, frustration will be avoided and the energy put to better use, particularly for the benefit of others. The greatest danger on the cusp of rebirth, of course, is that spiraling energies will spin out of control. The damage caused by such volatile forces can be considerable. However, it is usually of the type that can also mend quickly in the physical and emotional spheres. In addition, it may be necessary for old habits to be destroyed, and such destruction can prove ultimately to have a positive, even liberating result. 
Relationships that have failed to evolve may have to be discarded, painful as the process may be. And this week, an old relationship can be quickly replaced with a new one. Jealous and possessiveness have little power in this week compared to the strong need for personal expression. Like the process of birth itself, from which the cusp takes its name, going backwards is detrimental. The only way to go is forward. And then another thing I might add, um, let's see. So the, the people that are born around, or that are born this week, uh, let's, this little tidbit about them. Cusp of rebirth people will be free to express the full force of their initiative and intuition. Let's see, what does it say? Ah, here it is. I was looking at the wrong thing. But that still stands. Okay, it says, Those born on this cusp are not easy to handle. Extremely direct and outspoken. They are not overly concerned with what others think about their often aggressive attitudes. They usually tend to get their way through their insistence that they are correct. Because of their more sensitive because of the more sensitive and watery nature of Pisces and the dynamic and fiery temperament of Aries, these individuals embody an odd mix of the faculties of feeling and intuition. Not fond of being criticized or analyzed, Pisces Aries people feel that with regards to themselves, they are what they are. Take it or leave it. 